Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another uni video. It's been about two weeks since I've actually filmed a video, um, which is really, really strange. It feels really weird, um, but I've had so much uni work on, which is so annoying. I've got one more exam left and then I have got a bit of coursework as well, but that's not due for a while. So after I get that exam out the way next week, hopefully I'll be able to make videos more regularly because I want to be able to do it more than just once a week because I honestly love making and editing them and everything so much. So yeah, today's video is a uni based one. I know the deadline to like secure your first and insurance choice is coming up pretty soon. I think it's the 18th of June. So yeah, I know a lot of you are probably on the fence as to making a decision and stuff at the moment. And today's video is really, really exciting because I am going to be talking about the nightlife in Norwich. So if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I actually go to the University of East Anglia, which is in Norwich. It's quite a small uni. I've done a whole video talking about like everything to do with UEA so if you want to know more information about the uni in general and Norwich and stuff like that then go check that video out but this video is going to be just talking about the nightlife there because I feel like when a lot of people hear Norwich they think it's quite a small city and it is quite a small city but there's definitely enough to do I feel like a lot of people probably hear about it and they think oh it sounds a bit boring or whatever but I know looking at universities being a student not everyone will be really into nightlife but for me it was a really important factor so today I thought I'd put together a little video sharing my top 10 favorite clubs in Norwich yes there is over 10 so let's just get in and I will share with you my ultimate guide to the best nightlife in Norwich <laughs> So I thought I would just quickly add as well that there is kind of a strip of clubs in Norwich. It's called the Prince of Wales Road and that is where a lot of the clubs in town are based. Pretty much all of them are around that kind of area. So if you just get a taxi to Prince of Wales Road then you can just pick and choose where you want to go. There are some clubs that are better on certain nights than others so I'm going to be sharing with you all of that kind of stuff. So yeah hopefully you will find it interesting if you do love a night out like I do. So the first one that I'm going to mention is technically not a club, all of the other ones are clubs, but I really wanted to throw this one in there because it's such a cute little like bar I'd kind of say. It's called Cecilia's and that is, it's near Prince of Wales Road but it's not actually on Prince of Wales Road, it's kind of like just around the corner. Yeah so that is a little bar, it's free entry, drinks are really cheap inside, you can get cocktails, you can get shots, like normal drinks, whatever you fancy. There are, I want to say three different floors but I don't think one of them was open when I went and it has like music inside and stuff it's so cute you've probably seen a lot of photos well if you're looking at UEA then you will see some photos of Cecilia's anyone who goes to UEA pretty much has been to Cecilia's so I went there on a bar crawl with Cocktail Society and it was so much fun it's very girly inside it's very pink they've got loads of different backgrounds it's kind of catered for Instagram photos I would say like it's so aesthetically pleasing it's so pretty they have like a little like greenery wall that's got like some angel wings you can stand in front of they've got a photo booth they've got um, like little devil horn things. Anywhere you go, you will find a really nice spot to take photos. Um, but not only that, it's just such a nice vibe, it's such a nice atmosphere and yeah, it's free entry. So I would say that is great to go if you want some little pre-drinks with some girlfriends or maybe you wanna go out for some drinks for your birthday or something. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that before I move on to the clubs. So that is at number 10. So the next one that I wanted to mention was the waterfront. This is not one of my favourite clubs just because of the kind of music. It's more indie music and that's personally just not my kind of vibe. But I do know a lot of my friends that really like the waterfront. I have enjoyed it when I've been to be fair. I think it's like £6 entry on a Friday um, if you get your tickets before. And I did have a good time when I went. It's just not really my kind of music because I don't know many indie songs. I can't sing along to it. And for me, I just love having a sing and a dance when I do go out. And that is not on Prince of Wales Road. That is, um, it's basically in this area called Riverside, which is right near the train station. And um, so it's not much further. Like you can definitely walk from Prince of Wales Road down to the waterfront if you want, or you can just get a taxi straight there. And it's quite a cool venue inside to be fair. It's like a, I don't really know what to call it. Like it's like a warehouse, but not 
really a warehouse because it's not like metally and stuff but it's just really cool vibes inside and they also have concerts there sometimes so i saw lotto boys there and i saw someone else there but i can't remember their name but yeah they have concerts there sometimes which is really cool and then coming in at number eight we have warehouse so this is like more of an event rather than a club and i think they have them maybe like four or five times a year it's not like a weekly thing but they have quite big djs when they do have them this is more of a dmb dj kind of event so i saw mk there in my first year and they've also had mackie g there it's not anywhere near the rest of the clubs this is the only one that is kind of completely nowhere near anything else so if you go there and then you don't like it you can't go anywhere else which is kind of annoying when i went they messed up all the transport as well so that is another reason why it is lower down on my list and it is more expensive i can't remember exactly how much i paid for my ticket because i got it as a bundle with like all my other stuff in my wristband for freshers week it is really cheap to get to like a taxi it's like a five minute taxi ride away so that's not expensive but then getting drinks inside is so expensive it's literally like nine pound for a double so this is not one of my favorite places to go but i do feel like it's worth going if you do go to uea because it's just like you can say you've been then so next up we have gonzo's gonzo's is a really really small club it's also a really nice restaurant as well i went there to have dinner with two of my friends like a few months ago and it's a really nice like burger place i did mention it in a previous video as well but then every so often they have events on the upstairs floor and they're like d and b events they don't have them every single week as far as i know anyway but i know a lot of people who've been on like friday nights and stuff and they've had a really good time there i didn't get the chance to go i was meant to go during easter but obviously with coronavirus like everything it's shut at the moment so i wasn't able to go but my friends that have been have said that they had a really really good time and then next we have mantra so this is probably a club that you will hear a lot if you do come to uba a lot of people at uba are mantra reps so mantra like hire people to give out flyers and like promote it and stuff like that so a few of my friends are actually promoters for mantra which is quite nice because they can get us in the vip area and they normally knock like a pound off entry or something if we do go i have been to mantra quite a few times actually quite often like bar crawls and stuff end up in mantra yeah it's a decent club it's one of the bigger clubs in norwich and it's quite popular with students from uba as well it's really popular on a thursday night and a saturday night and not so much on a friday night but i think they are trying to like revamp that and rebrand it mantra is like it's my kind of music it's more like like rap and drake at any time i talk about club i just say drake but i feel like you know what i mean it's like standard club music yeah and that's always really busy it is more on the pricier side to get in and drinks are a little bit more pricey once you get inside as well but it's still not completely unreasonable and that is also along prince of wales road mantra is also one of the more dressy clubs so on a saturday i don't think you're allowed trainers um and they prefer people to go a little bit more dressy you can still get in in vans like that's absolutely fine next we have bar and beyond so bar and beyond is actually a chain it's quite a small chain i do have one like near to where i live i know they've got one in sheffield and chelmsford as well and they do actually have one in norwich my bar and beyond at home is always so so busy on a thursday like it's really good on a thursday because that is their student night and it's like three pound entry but then i went on a thursday in norwich and it was not the same at all i feel like in norwich because there are a lot more like other places that you can go on a thursday people don't tend to go to bar and beyond but my bar and beyond at home there's literally nowhere else to go so everyone goes there on a thursday but we actually went on a saturday during summer and it was so much fun it is my kind of music to a t it was more on the pricey side i think it was five pound a ticket actually that's not even that pricey to be fair um and drinks inside were quite well priced they've got a photo booth inside as well and i tell you like the bar and beyond photo booth there is nothing like it it the lighting just everything is perfect <laughs> so that is definitely a plus point as well and yeah it's my kind of music it's drake it's rihanna it's like the charts but not like cheesy charts at number four we have soul train so again this isn't technically a club it's an event and they do this i think they do it twice a semester or maybe three times and we went for one of my friends birthdays back in november loads of my friends have been before this but i i didn't like hearing about it it didn't sound like it would be my kind of vibe it's like an 80s night but 
I actually absolutely loved it. Like I cannot wait to go again. Again, we were supposed to be going just after Easter, but obviously that never happened. <laughs> and that was held at open, but I think they're changing venues. And um, so I'm not really sure where it's gonna be held at in the future, but yeah, it was an 80s kind of themed night. And everyone dresses up really funky. You do have to get tickets in advance, but I don't think it's very much. Again, because it's an event, drinks inside are a little bit more pricey, but we just pre-drank loads before and it was fine. <laughs> so yeah, that is definitely a really, really fun event and you definitely need to go if you do come to UBA. Coming in at number three, my top three, it was so hard to pick between them because I love all three of these clubs so much. So at number three, I did pick lots. Loft. So Loft is kind of at the end of Prince of Wales Road. This is the best on a Thursday, 100%. I would not go to Loft on any other night other than a Thursday because it is one pound entry because it's student night. Doubles are like three pound inside. It's actually mad. Shots are like a pound. It's actually crazy. And there's two different floors. So upstairs there's a DJ and it's kind of like standard club music. And then on the ground floor they have karaoke. And this is what makes Loft just so much fun and i absolutely love karaoke at loft it's so much fun i have my best memories in loft it's quite a quirky little club as well because they have um like little airplane seats upstairs coming in at number two we have karma karma has recently become one of my absolute favorite places to go this is really good on a thursday that's when we tend to go if we don't go to loft then we go to karma more recently we have been going to karma over loft i don't really know why to be honest i think it's just because we went to loft so much in first year that we'd kind of exhausted it so we wanted to like try some new places also with loft i forgot to mention you have to get there quite early so i would get in the queue at like half 10 like 11 at the latest because it gets so busy the queues get so long and then they end up doing like a one in one out policy but yeah karma is one of my favorites at the moment it's just such a nice vibe there's three different floors um, we never really go at the bottom floor, but the top two floors are so much fun. The very top floor is D&B music, um, and there's a bar on there as well. And then the main floor is kind of like throwback music. They have some current ones as well, but anytime I go there, I feel like I hear more like old school kind of music, like my parents kind of music, but it's so much fun because everyone knows the songs and everyone just like dances all together and it's just a really nice vibe. And Karma is five pound entry on a Thursday. I do think this has to be in cash, so bear that in mind and get cash out before if you do go. Karma is also not along Prince of Wales Road, but it's really, really not that far away. I can't remember exactly where it is, but it's not far away at all. And then coming in at number one on the top of my list is the LCR. And you probably have heard of the LCR if you were thinking of going to UEA and it is basically the club on campus. I just love the LCR for so many reasons. They have club nights on a Tuesday and a Saturday. I don't really go on Tuesdays that much to be honest, just because the music, like, I went a lot in first year and the music gets a little bit samey. That is more like cheesy music, throwback songs. And it's really nice when you first go, but then I feel like it's the kind of music that once you hear it every single week, you just get a little bit sick of it. But Damn Good is also fun because they have themes. So when they have certain like funny themes, they have like a, like a um, like a bad shirt night where everyone goes. They have um, Cops and Robbers. They've had Disney. They've had Harry Potter, Mamma Mia. Like they've had loads of different themes. So we just kind of pick and choose what one what themes we go to, and that is four pound entry. And then on a Saturday, it is six pound. Either night, you just get your tickets online on the S website and on a saturday night it's called a list so i would definitely recommend getting your tickets for a list literally over a week in advance probably because it does tend to get sold out literally like every single week it seemed to get sold out at least if you have a ticket you know that you have the option to go like i always just get a ticket thinking like oh i might not go this week but at least i've got the ticket just in case because even if you don't end up going it's so easy to sell you can basically sell it on this facebook page called the ticket exchange which is all like secure and stuff it's uea official and i've sold my ticket from there before and i've also brought tickets on there before like it's absolutely fine to use yeah so on a saturday it's called a list it's six pound and that is when three different rooms open so you have downstairs blue bar which is dmb music and there's also a bar down there and then on the main floor you have two different rooms so you have the hive which is like the side little bit and that is very kind of rap more like 
grime i guess and then in the main room is like just general club music but it's quite like feel good club music you have like rihanna beyonce like you just get a little bit of everything there to be honest and that is also where the main bar is and then they've also got a vk bar as well and i just love the lcr because i love the music and it's so easy to get to and it's so cheap like it is the cheapest night out i've ever ever been on <laughs> like six pounds to get in but you can pre so much before you go like we normally pre until like midnight and then we'll go to the lcr and then that shuts at three so i normally like preloads before and then i only get like two vks inside which is like four pound so you've been on a whole night out for a tenner if you don't count the alcohol at pre's but you know what i mean like it is a cheap night out it's a good night out my absolute favorite there is nothing else to say there are also other clubs as well but these just didn't make it to my list <laughs> so there is stadia which i have been to on a cocktail society bar crawl and i did actually really enjoy it to be fair you also have pop world and you also have bisht which i went to in freshers week and there is also mojos which i think have events on tuesdays i've actually never been to mojos but a few of my friends have been and they really enjoyed it so that concludes my little rundown of the nightlife in norwich i hope this has helped some of you out as i said i know it won't be for everyone but if you have clicked on this video then i'm assuming that you are interested in nightlife at uni i also know at the moment none of the clubs are open for obvious reasons but i still wanted to make this video anyway because i feel like they're not going to stay shut for more than a year fingers crossed they don't anyway because i need to go out and even if they don't open in your first semester going to ua i'm sure they'll open at some point throughout your degree course or if you're watching this in the future then hopefully they are open at the moment so yeah i still thought this video was worth making and i will see you in my next video bye